Man, a celebration of the 50 years of hip-hop, the birthday, man, uh, 50 years, man. Think about all the big joints, all the big albums um, coming up in Memphis. My, my hip-hop experience is a lot different. Um, me being a DJ, starting collecting records when I was 10, 11 years old is a lot different than a lot of people. It's got my family. We always have great conversations great about ones. music. Yes. New album in stores right now. Stream yes. it. ATL. Everybody in the Southeast, we want that drama album to be number one right now on all streaming platforms. Yeah, appreciate that. Incredible album. Congratulations on your year, too, man. You Thank know what I mean? Man. Thank you, man. We're going to keep it going, too. Before I ask you this question about the 50 years of hip-hop, I think oh. the first time I met you, I was thinking back, was, um, I think you were actually on, two, I think it was Summer Jam, K97 Summer Jam. Yep. The last show was Mid-South Coliseum, uh -huh. and uh, you were DJing for Scrappy and Trueville. Like wow. That. Yep. I was in before my T.I. days. I was DJing yeah. for Lil Scrappy. Yeah. <clears throat> that had to be like 02, 03. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. That's, that's one of the last shows in the Mid-South Coliseum, man. Classic. Man, congratulations, like I said. So your experience before you were in Atlanta, of course, Clark Atlanta University, did a lot of growing up in Atlanta on the party scene, you know what I mean? But you were actually DJing in Philly. We kind of, our DNA, we share a lot of the same DNA when you started DJing. Um, what, are your, what are your top hip-hop albums of all time? I know that's a tough question. Tough question. Yeah. I'm going to go doggy style. All right. Let me see. This is, this is, this is tough. The Blueprint, Jay Z. All right. I mean, I'm gonna I'm be a little biased here. I'm gonna go Tyler <laughs> the Creator. Call me if you get there. Lost. You go. I mean, extremely creative yeah. album. That's what's up. I can say, I can say, Paid in Full, man. One of my favorite albums of all time. I put Reasonable Doubt is on my list. Um, all Eyes on Me is on my list. All Eyes on Me is classic. Um, you know, we, I, I didn't say The Chronic. I didn't say Ready to Die. Yeah, Ready to Die is on my list. Outcast, Aquemini, one of my go tos. Aquemini, ATL. Yeah, man. Graduation, Kanye's. Yeah, man. It's too many classics. Uh, one final question, man, since we're kind of behind the scenes right now. The gangster grills that got away from you. What's that one gangster grill that got away from you? You had an opportunity, it never came out. Uh, you couldn't you couldn't link up, you couldn't make it happen. You know what I mean? Is it do you have something <clears> in the archives or something that never really happened or, or got halfway done? It has to be a story of, of one gangster grill out there like that. Definitely Travis Scott. Um, days before rodeo, rodeo was almost a gangster grills. Mm. <clears throat> you know, I still have Black Thought on my bucket list to do, and you know, I, hopefully, we'll still be able to make the Daylight Soul gangster grills happen. Yeah, yeah that'd but, uh, be fire. Man, rest in peace for sure. Man, rest in peace to Dave. Download that album this weekend, man. Ron, appreciate yeah, you, man. Yeah, absolutely. Love, love always, my brother. Appreciate you. That's what's up, man. I'm really like that. Make it happen. I'm really like that. Album out right now, Generation Now. Let's get it.